Hi, I'm Renelle Brooks-Moon, and welcome to Inside the Clubhouse Short Features. The 2014 season has brought many unforgettable moments on and off the field. So let's get started with one that happened right here at AT&T Park when the freak Tim Lincecum made baseball history. Man, you, you play this game a long time for, for moments like this. Just being behind Timmy and watching how dominant he was, he all of his pitches, he had all of them going tonight. He was mixing it up really well. Um, he was throwing strikes with the slider, his curveballs change up, and um, you know he, he he went out there and battled. He's pitched eight innings, one walk, five strikeouts. It's so hard to throw no hitter, but. For some reason, it crossed my mind that, you know what? He could do something special. One down in the ninth. Two more! Lincecum's got it. Two down in the ninth. And now Lincecum's in the driver's seat. On the ground to Panic. Panic to Posey. And Lincecum has done it again. He has no hit. The San Diego Padres for the second time in two years. What a great performance by that kid. Yo, two strike That was awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody knows Tim. He's the kind of guy. He's relaxed. He tried to join his game. To me, it's just amazing. I think he was really thrilled to do it at home. But to be able to come out and be part of an outing like this and not necessarily just throw it, but be a part of it is, is always something special. He's put himself in a, another class. It's hard enough to throw one no-hitter. You throw a, your second no-hitter, that's even more awesome. He does it again, this time here at home. Can't describe it in words. It's special. And it's the reason we love this game and the reason we, we show up to play is uh, you know, to witness the greatness and to be a part of it. Wow, you just never know what's going to happen at the ballpark. Just like when a famous Bay Area rock band dropped by the yard to take some swings on the field. All right. <laughs> Wanna look cool? And the last time I had one of these, I think I was doing this more than I was doing, doing this. <laughs> no, you're going to embarrass us. No, you wouldn't do that. No, absolutely not. Who's this going first? Money. My money's on Lars. <laughs> oh. Save your money. So they're expecting you to launch balls. You know, uh, they're expecting you. The Warriors are supposed to stand on this side of the line, and who are they expecting to show up instead of us? <laughs> oh, I actually touched that one. Yes! Literally, think about just touching it with the bat. Just touch it, catch it with the bat. With the bat. With the bat. Uh, right now, you know what? Just try and hit it. Yeah. Try and hit it. No matter how you look. That's a double right there. That's a double. Follow that, Kirk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's more times I expected to hit it. So I, I usually just kind of go off the front of the plate. That's a pitcher. pitcher telling you how to hit. Exactly. At least he's talking to me. Oh. Yeah. I'll be your secret weapon. We're just your neighborhood little friendly rock and roll <laughs> band, oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. That's a homer in my book, Lars. Beautiful ballpark, especially when the sun's shining, right? Can't go wrong. See, they could do two things. We only could do one. We could hit. Well, I can't play the guitar or anything like that. Oh! oh Look at that! He's yeah. gonna be sore. He's going for both sides. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm pumped up. Just hitting a few balls like that. <laughs> Remember now, you're gonna have like 40,000 people. That's it? You're used to that. Bring it on. <laughs> Well, we all know reliever Jeremy Affeld can handle a pressure pack situation on the mound, but handling the demands of being a celebrity barista at a local coffee shop is a whole other story. Every day, San Franciscans flock to Pete's Coffee and Tea for their morning pick-me-up. Here's your iced coffee. Thank you. 
But it's not every day that a two-time world champion prepares your latte. Caramel macchiato for Ryan, sea salt caramel mocha for Kim, almond milk latte for Ben. Boom, there you go, stud. I threw a little extra whip on there for you. Introducing Jeremy Affelt, celebrity barista. Oh, here you go, bub. You got it, brother. This next one you're gonna get to do the swirl on. The swirl? Yeah. Boom. Armando, dude, that's yeah. the best swirl you have done yet. Yeah, man. You ready to change careers? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll stick with my baseball career. Okay, and then how much do I put it do I for you? You're gonna do a nice little dome, start on the outside. Might be a little heavy on the whip. <laughs> no, seriously, what do I do? Here, I got you. An active member of the community, pitcher Jeremy Affelt spent a morning serving up coffee for a worthy cause. Larkin Street Youth Services works with runaway and homeless youth. We provide street outreach, shelter, housing, education, and employment. To be a part of Larkin Street where they've kind of uh, showed them that they have hope and have instilled hope in them is pretty important. Oh man. See, the swirl's a lot easier on the whipped cream. I feel like it, the drink absorbs the caramel quicker than it swirls. Swirl. We're swirling this thing. Don't, man. Quit, don't quit your day job. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, I think uh, the platform we have as athletes to be in the community and to kind of support the community is very, very important. He's really an inspirational guy. Um, he's the real deal. He gets involved in the community and it makes it even more meaningful for us to have somebody like him here. As far as being a buddy at the bar, he's a solid 9 out of 10. But as a swirler, he's up in the 12s. <laughs> Swirly, got it. We thought he might just be able to hand the drinks over, but he's actually stepping in and doing the, the hard barista work, so we're really proud of him. You saw it go in, it, it, I don't know what's happening. There's a lot of pressure in making coffee because you got a lot of people that are uh, still waking up and really need it. So I think there's actually more pressure in making coffee than making a pitch. Really good caramel Fredos for free. <laughs> they're phenomenal, especially the swirlies. I don't know if they're going to have a job description opening as the swirly guy, but if they do, uh, I, I kind of fit the part, I think, right now. Do you think supposed to come out of this thing? Caramel macchiato for Al. Whip the dome. Is this the dome? So I'm just happy that the partnership with Pete's and the Giants and Larkin Street can be made, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it, and I'm very thankful that I got to be a part of it as well. Thank you, Jeremy. You got it. Jeremy's work with Larkin Street is just one of the many examples of Giants players partnering with local community groups. Giants pitcher Matt Kane also donated his time to add a special touch to a hospital here in San Francisco. Rooms at Rock for Chemo is a nonprofit organization, and we transform chemotherapy rooms from sad and drab to hopeful, lovely, and peaceful, and we do that on a 100% volunteer uh, basis. A true community project. Rooms that Rock for Chemo teamed up with the San Francisco Giants and Dignity Health to renovate the exam rooms at the St. Mary's Hospital Cancer Center. Cancer patients and other patients come here often daily, weekly, monthly for years. Creating an uplifting environment and cheerful environment just adds to that um, compassion and care we try to provide. Well, this new redesign really enhances and adds to the um, service that we provide, trying to create the best patient experience that we can, you know, especially during stressful times. One new room designed to bring a smile to the patient's faces is the Giants-themed room, where pitcher Matt Kane tossed out the first paintbrush. It's great to see that uh, this came all from just one idea of, uh, of, a, of a young lady coming into a into a hospital and seeing what some of these patients were going through and uh, trying to find a way to brighten their day and she came up with an idea of trying to bring some life to some of the rooms and, and this is what it's turned out to. It's pretty amazing. Does it look awkward enough to be a hunter? Yeah, it doesn't look awkward enough. So it's probably, it's probably Buster. And we have many patients that are huge Giants fans and St. Mary's has always had a very strong collaborative relationship with the Giants. So our patients are going to be extremely excited about this room. It's pretty cool. It's great that they were able to incorporate the Giants. We know that the, the Giants are big in the San Francisco area and we're, we're keep on spreading around. And it's, it's nice to, to see that they're able to, to put a Giants room together and you know, hopefully uh, that'll be a really winning room and get some patients through there nice and quick and to a speedy recovery. This is a great, great thing to be a part of. 
It was really a community project that will make a huge difference to a tremendous amount of people. I can't wait to see their faces as they are greeted with all of this. It'll just mean a lot to them. You know, if we're able to just bring a little bit of more joy to their life, but what they do for us in return to, to see them and really puts a lot of things in perspective for us. They bring a lot more joy to us than I think that they know. Throughout its history, AT&T Park has been constantly remodeled and revamped to make the fan experience even better than before. This year, something special has been growing in center field. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Today, we are proud to honor the Giants, not only for being champions on the diamond, but also being champions for the entire San Francisco community as well. I'm proud to announce the next season they're planning to turn the center field bleachers at AT&T Park into what's believed to be the first ever edible garden in a major American sports facility. The Giants are going to help encourage local youth to eat healthy even at the ballpark. Uh, they represent their city uh, proudly and they do a great job at it. First of all, I want to say how beautiful is this garden, everybody. This is, this really wakes you up, and uh, you guys did a great job. President Obama let the cat out of the bag. He announced our plans to create an edible garden here at AT&T Park. So when the president says you're going to do something, I think you got to go ahead and follow through and do it. There we go. All right. Garden is open. That's right, we got flash hits in right field and tail shots in center field. <laughs> what we're going to be using the garden for is to help talk to children about healthy eating and to take people and actually grow vegetables that we can use in food here in the ballpark. How's the food? Good. It's good, really? It tastes good? Coming back here, having a place where, you know, kids can see all the fresh plants, all the fresh uh, vegetables. They have, you know, a wonderful place to eat healthy. And have on non-game days, wonderful seminars and community groups come through and learn about healthy eating. You know, it's a beautiful addition to this this ballpark. It's it's uh, you know already such a wonderful place to play. Children in the community, a lot of the individuals in the community look to the ball players as role models. And if ball players are able to communicate messages about healthy eating and healthy lifestyles, we think that that'll have a big impact in our community and the way people conduct their lives and the way they, they handle their own fitness. There's a little quote that I've read a long time ago and it spoke kind of loud to me and it was, you know, if you want to change the world, change yourself. If we want our kids to eat healthy, we ourselves have to eat healthy as grown-ups, as role models. Okay, bye guys. Enjoy your lunch. Eat your vegetables. That's where the difference is made, and I think this this makes it fun. It makes it cool, and, and it's really just uh, you know a lovely place to spend some time. Make sure next time you visit AT&T Park to check out the new garden in center field. I mean, it is awesome. Next, we turn to another renovation as we take a look now at what's been going on under the arcade in right field. In what was once a nondescript area furtively located behind the out-of-town scoreboard and right field of AT&T Park, something special has been brewing. Welcome to the Gotham Club where members can sit back, relax, and fully immerse themselves into everything that the Giants' renowned history has to offer. As you would call the Gotham Club when we first introduced it, it's a private speakeasy style social club that provides a members-only experience here at AT&T Park. The Gotham Club really, just from a, a, a overall big picture standpoint, grew out of our celebration, our commitment to celebrate the 132-year history going back to the New York Gothams and the New York Giants. All throughout this ballpark, you get hints 
ends of the bay, peaks of the bay, but I don't think anywhere in this park you get a view of the bay like the one you get from here. And we think that's exciting, and we think it's going to make this uh, a great destination for members and a place that they want to keep coming back to. More than anything else, though, you know, the Gotham Club experience is about fun, and it's about creating and extending the Giants experience for our fans in ways that we don't think anybody else does right now across our industry. Uh, on a game day, our members can mix up their experience here at the ballpark by starting on the field in the bullpen during batting practice, coming up here into this wonderful space to have a drink, and then potentially ending their pre-game ritual in our dining room. Uh, on another day, they may skip all of that and head directly to the game room, uh, enjoy billiards or bowling uh, before settling in for a game. And then after it all, when the game is finished and hopefully uh, people are celebrating a victory, they can do that here and uh, they can extend their ballpark experience in a space that uh, is so uniquely San Francisco. An homage to the past, a celebration of the present, the Gotham Club is a beautiful addition to the always innovative AT&T Park. San Francisco is full of iconic sites, unique characters, and amazing sports fans. There's one place in San Francisco where you can find all these traditions on display in a big way. Once upon a time, there was a magical city by the bay called San Francisco. Boy, was that place full of nuts. One night a bunch of us were out at dinner and we came outside the restaurant and there was a guitar player, people were throwing coins at him and I said, hey, wait a minute, let's go back to my house, put some costumes on that I had from Renner Free and come back and do an act. That was when I really started understanding what people wanted, what kind of entertainment people wanted. Later that year, I decided I'm gonna do a show. Maybe a crazy show, yeah, for sure, a crazy show. Since its creation 40 years ago, Steve Silver's Beach Blanket Babylon has become a truly unique San Francisco institution. I like to say that Beach Blanket can only be described as an experience. Even though the show has been going for so many years, it's so constantly evolving and changing um, it's always a fresh experience. Wild, witty, and hilarious, the experience that is Beach Blanket Babylon has entertained nearly six million people from around the world. We all get our energy from everyone in the audience, and you can tell when someone's really enjoying the show. The look on their face basically goes from... And they get it, and you can see that transition as the show progresses. Both vital members of the Bay Area community, Beach Blanket Babylon and the Giants have become integral in each other's experiences. Because we are both icons of San Francisco, the pairing of the two is phenomenal. Not only just phenomenal, but it's kind of expected. Our audience tells us how, how much they love Giants. You know that when the Giants hit the stage, everybody in the house is screaming. The roof flies off the top. They don't hold back, you know. They love the Giants. We love the Giants. <laughs> I think that's what people want to see today. I think they want escapism. I think they want to see something fun where they can laugh and have a good time. With its hilarious spoofs of pop culture, spectacular costumes, and outrageously gigantic hats, the experience that is Steve Silver's Beach Blanket Babylon continues to evolve and deepen its legacy in our city by the bay. Steve Silver's Beach Blanket Babylon, truly one of the great traditions that makes San Francisco so unique. Well, that's all the time we have on Inside the Clubhouse Short Features, and we thank you all for joining us. From everyone here at SFG Productions, I'm Rennell Brooks-Moon, and thanks so much for watching. Give it up, everybody, for the Bat Kid! Here's a pitch, and a fastball is crushed! Deep left field! Gone! This baby!
baby's way back. It is out of here. Hammered out into right center field. Danik to Posey. And Luke Sacom has done it again. He is no hit to San Diego Padres for the second time in two years. This has been an exclusive presentation from SFG Productions.